possum skin cloaks are cultural belongings. They might have been four or five pelts big, sewn using kangaroo sinew or sometimes a really fine fibre. We don't have a lot of historical cloaks left um, in, in the world because part of our practice and wearing our cloaks was also to be buried in our cloaks. We were designing onto these cloaks markers of identity and this practice has continued for thousands of generations. Museums Victoria have a Goodrich Amara cloak from the Western District and then we're also going to have an incredible new commission of a community cloak that has recently been made. I became involved in the cloak project because I have um, connections to my grandmother's country that the old cloak's from. This is one of the designs that I did, it's of Lake Conda. There's a symbol of the lake on the old cloak. Because on, on the overall design of the cloak is like a map of country. Places, you know, totems or food or things like that. There's one that I did with the eagle. There's a person standing and you can see the, the dimples in the bum. That's my journey of when I was going through chemo and because People today get affected or families get touched by cancer. So I thought I'd put that on the cloak. I came through it, I survived it. The eagle was when I went outside of my daughter's house and I spotted him and I asked him to come back. And so he circled over the top of me. And I asked him to take what I had and give me the strength to be here today because my journey's not finished. The one that I did, an eel basket, it's a skill that we would have lost if it wasn't for one woman. Her mother refused to show her daughter how to make the eel baskets. She went out and followed the women, saw where they got the reeds from. She'd run around and sneak a stitch or two. That's how she learned to make the baskets. And that lady is now passed on. We are now teaching other people to do it. Uh, it's something that's not going to disappear now. So those sort of feelings that I have are on this cloak. So it's talking about that continuation of culture, the continuum of practicing and um, connecting to the ancestors, but also our customary practices. It's strong, it holds everybody in. Your feelings, your emotions, um, past and future, all wrapped in one. That's the only way I can put it.